Hey guys, we're back with another Pocket Jib video and I'm sure everyone's heard by now, yes, NTC are dead and yes, currently there is no no news on any new devices like Pocket Chip and Chip. But today we're going to be taking a look at something a little different and this is uh, getting some more games running on the old Pocket Chip or Chip, so if you have one, then grab it. We're going to take a look at getting the BBC micro emulator also known as BBEM. Now this is something I haven't seen tried on the forums so I thought we'd try it anyway. So you're going to open a terminal and you're going to type in some commands. So the first command is sudo apt get install libdl 1.2 dev and then it's libgtk 2.0 dev and then it's build essentials and then you want to press Enter. So we'll let it run through and do its thing. We'll come up with a do you want to continue and we want to click Y and then press Enter. And we'll let it do its thing. Once that's done and it does take a little while, uh, we're going to want to make a directory called BBEM. So we're going to press MK. DIR, then space, then B E E B E M, then space, because we're going to want to drop into that folder. So we're going to want to put the AND button twice, which is somewhere on this keyboard. There you go, number seven. So it's AND, AND, and then it's CD, and then space, and then B E E B E M, and press enter. And we should be in a folder now that's called BBM as you can see right now. Next we're going to want to do a wget command and uh, it's quite a long one this one so I'm going to type it out and then tell you what it is. This one's a bit of a long one as well. It's wget and it's http uh, semicolon I think. Could be a colon. forward slash forward slash bbem dash unix dot bbcmicro.com forward slash download forward slash bbem dash 0 0.0.13 and then it's parentheses I believe or some sort of weird thing which I am not entirely sure but you should be able to see it on the screen if not it will be in the comments section below at some point dot tar dot gz comma underscore 64 bit dot patch comma dash keys dot patch comma underscore menu underscore crash dot patch and then it's the close weird squiggly parentheses majobby thing and that should be the next command and hopefully this works without a hitch but who knows and it says finished now that was really quick so we should be able to unpack the, the source code now with the following command which I will type out and then show you so the next command is uh, tar minus xzf space um, bbem b e e b e m dash naught point naught point one three dot tar dot gz and that should hopefully unpack the source code. And I presume when you know when things happen like this on Pocket Chip, where it says it's done nothing, I presume it has done something. In which case, we've just got to patch the source code. Another weird command we haven't used before, and this is for uh, patching the source code. The command is for space file space in, and then I think it's a space, then it's a star, then a dot, then I say a dot, a full stop, then it's patch, then it's a semicolon, then it's a space, then do, then space, then patch, then space, then minus p0, then space, then crocodiles, but I can't remember which way it was facing because I never did maths in school, space dollar sign file semicolon space done. And it's a really odd mishmash, but we'll press enter. And it says no such file or directory, which means I may have screwed it up. And I had screwed it up because I basically put uh, bbem 0 0.012 instead of 0 0.013, which isn't good of me. So if we press that, Right, it turned out, guys, that actually I had not put 0 
three in the other command either. I put 0 0.012. My eyesight must be getting worse by the day. So basically, after I changed it all to 0 0.013, it all went through without a hitch, even patching, uh, which you can just see there now. Um, so yeah, that was human error, but these commands will be below, so hopefully you won't make the same mistakes as I clearly have. So we've patched the source code, and now I want to change into the source code directory. So we just want to type in cd, and then b-e-e-b-e-m, and then it's a dash, and then it's 0 0.0.13, not 2 here, 3 and then it's a forward slash and then we press enter and as you can see we are now in the source code directory and we just want to build it so we just press uh, dots in fact I'll type this out because oh wait is this three commands or is this one command I'm not entirely sure I think this is one command so it's uh, we'll go for it together actually we'll we'll go for it together so it's dots and then forward slash and then it's configure and then it's a space then it's dash dash enable then dash e c o n e t um and then it says make but we'll we'll do this command first Okay, it's doing something, so we'll do these as three separate commands. So we'll let's do this thing. It's done, it should boot us back into the folder we were already in, which it has done. Um, and now we just need to type in make. We'll let it do its thing. Okay, so that took about five minutes, let's say. Did take a little bit of time, but now we've done that, we just type in sudo, then space, then make, then space, then install, dash, strip. And we press enter. And it will ask us for our password. Of course, if you haven't changed yours, it will be chip and it should make. Now if this works this is pretty cool because there's loads of games for the BBC Micro and wow that was quick. So now that we've done that we should be able to type in uh, B E E B E M welcome dot S S D and we should if something goes wrong and you want to clear user configuration, then just delete Beaverman in your home directory and all settings will be recreated with the default. Okay. Ah. Damn. Okay, so there is sometimes a way we can drag the screen across if we hold Alt. And I think, what if we press, which one is it? Is it, is it Alt? Or is it Control? I can never remember. Okay, it looks like we're going to be stuck with a screen too big, um, which is so frustrating. What happens if we move this cursor across? Can we jig the screen that way a bit more? Nah. Okay, so we need to work on how we can change the size of the screen, because this is a start. So I will look into that and then I will update you with how we can change the size of the screen because yeah currently the resolution is much too large I mean it sucks because we can press different buttons and it looks like it's doing some really cool stuff alas we cannot see it so I hope you enjoyed this part I'll see you in a bit Hey guys, so I figured it out. So if we alt on the actual pocket chip itself, we can grab the screen with the touch screen and move it across. And then once we're there, uh, we press um, function F12. Now if that doesn't work on the pocket chip itself, you may have to plug in a keyboard, because I'm using one of these. Um, and I press function uh, F8. 
F12. If your keyboard just says F12, then you can press F12. Um, and then I went into uh, I went into screen here, and in here we can actually choose uh, what size the screen is. Now, obviously, Pocket Chip has a a um, a sort of weird screen res because it's I think 240 or 320 by 480 but obviously there is no screen res for that so we're gonna have to choose the next one down which is 320 by 240 and again um, with the windowed resolution if we do the same and then we press back it should center itself like so and then we click on full screen uh, which is there and then we click OK and there we go now this is freaking awesome. Hello, this is the BBC microcomputer. This message was automatically loaded. This utility disk contains four useful programs. And uh, yeah, so we can press space to see them, which is what it was doing before. And uh, here we go. So there you have it, guys. You can actually run the BBC micro emulator on your pocket chip. Now what does this open up, uh, you may ask? Well, let's take a look at what we can actually get running on the BBC Micro, just with a quick search. And this potentially means that we can run games like Elite, Chuckle Egg, Castle Quest, I think Tetris is on here somewhere as well, and I'm pretty sure I've seen Pac-Man played on this as well. There are plenty of games for the BBC Micro, like Paperboy, Star Wars, The Hobbit. There are tons. So we're going to have to download some, try them out, and show you guys what they're like. Um, because this is pretty sweet. Now for those who don't know what the BBC is, it is actually the British Bro Broadcasting Company, I believe. And it's a quite a big thing here in the UK if you're watching from other countries. So there we go guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please do slap that like button. If you want to see more of this stuff, then please do subscribe because obviously even though I do sometimes take a bit of time between videos, I'm working on some cool stuff as you can see now. I shall see you very soon guys. Thanks again for watching. Cheers!